Are you there? Are you there? Oh, hello there. I am Amy, this is Chaos Break, and welcome to today's video. I've had far too much coffee today, but today we are looking at BoxyCharm for January 2019. I swear I got my BoxyCharm this month. Sit back, take a break with me. If you don't know, BoxyCharm is a monthly beauty makeup subscription. You get four to five, it's usually five, supposed to be full size items, and it is $21 a month. Um, if you pay for three months at a time, it's like $19.60 something. So you do get a little bit of a break. I always think BoxyCharm has a good value, it just depends on what the value is for you. Like if you would use the items that they send you or not, or if they're just gonna sit there and collect dust. Cause sometimes I get things I really like and sometimes I don't and everybody's different. So it just kinda depends on if you'll use them or not, or if you like trying new things, that sort of thing. So just so you know, I have glitter everywhere. I was just kicking a board and I'm like, oh, I wanna play in glitter. So it's everywhere. Also this foundation, it, well, first of all, it's sitting really bad in my line, my forehead lines here. But other, besides that, the color matched when I put it on, and it has oxidized so much that it doesn't match anymore. I'm aware of all of those things, but I'm a real person in this is real life, so I'm gonna do the video anyways. I've had too much coffee today. Oh my goodness. All right, theme this month: boxy and chill. I think it might be like a play on like Netflix and chill. First thing I thought of though when I took this out of the box, I was like, Care Bears. I loved Care Bears when I was a kid and the clouds and the colors just kind of reminded me of Care Bears. It has little popcorn pieces on there. It's cute. My husband said it looks like a, something like a baby's room or something. So it does kind of look pastel y and baby ish too. Alright, the first thing we got in the bag this month, and I'm afraid to show this because. I started this video like three times around. Every time I show this, the coloring goes super yellow, and I don't, I mean, the wall behind me is kind of yellow, um, but it just goes really yellow, so I'm not going to go real close with this, but this is from Tatcha. This is the Luminous Dewy Skin Mask. Um, it is $24 retail value. Um, there were two of them. I did try one, and... I was kind of sick that day, and I just felt like I needed a little bit of pampering, and it, let's see, what do I remember from it? My skin was quite tacky, like sticky after it. I did notice that it felt a little bit cooling, which was really nice. Um, the liquid in it is like a milky consistency. I gotta yell at the dog, hold on. Okay, now she's gonna go pout. So the liquid in it, or whatever's in it, it was like a milky consistency. It was white. It was very wet. Um, I did notice a little bit of kind of burning sensation, especially like in my cheek area where I tend to have a little bit of irritation, but it didn't seem to irritate my skin necessarily. It was just while I had it on, and it wasn't super uncomfortable. It was just kind of one of those things where I go, man, I don't know if my skin likes this, but it was okay. Um... I did have a nice glow afterwards, and it was really hydrating, so it was cool. I don't know who in the world is paying, well, I'm sure some people do, but I'm never going to pay $12 for a sheet mask, so. And I will say, usually this is not the format that I do my boxy charm. It's usually, sometimes I kind of know what I'm getting, but not always, and I usually don't open it and play with the things until I do the video. For some reason, this time I was just like, hmm, I'm going to play with the stuff, so that's what I did. All right. If you remember when I was telling you what BoxyCharm was, I said usually full-size items. So it's advertised as always being full-size items, but this was one of my products this month. And I guess technically, I mean, I think it says four to five full-size items, so the fifth one's not full-size. But this is from Briogeo, and it's Don't Depair. I can never say this. Don't Despair. Repair. And this is a strength and moisture leave-in mask. No sulfates, no silicones, no parabens. 
So it's like a spray and leave-in conditioner. Of course it's spray-in. But a leave-in conditioner. It smelled okay. I did spray this in my hair. My hair is super, super duper dry right now. Naturally curly hair that gets quite frizzy. So I haven't had long enough to try it. But it's kind of cool. The retail value of this is $16. This is two ounces. The next item that I got in the box this month, and I was so excited about this one, and then I wasn't. So this is from Bite Beauty, and I've been really wanting to try, I want you focus, some stuff from Bite Beauty, especially their lip products. Or is that all they do? Now I'm questioning myself. Anyways, I really wanted to try some of their lip products. Um, this is the Muse, is it Muse, is it Boosh? I'm not really sure how to say that, but it says with Reservatrol, and it's a lipstick. This has a value of $26. Oh, I never, I didn't realize this, so it pops out. I got mine in the shade... Where'd it go? Beet Root. And this is where I was not excited anymore. Well, I like to have some colors that are fun to play with and a little bit different. I would rather have this in a more wearable color because I really wanted to try the formula and I think I really like the formula actually. But, no. It is pretty. Like, I'm not saying that, but it's just too much. I work five days a week and I am not going to go to work with lips this color. I mean, I'm just not. It's way too dark for me. Try to put a little bit on, it's probably going to go everywhere. I'm not going to go crazy and try to coat everything really well, but it's. It is very pretty, but it's just. Too much for everyday wear for me and I don't always want neutral colors that's not what I'm saying either I do like the variety but it seems like the colors that I have been getting from BoxyCharm like I got a Smashbox lipstick and I was super excited about that and it was like bright pink and purple like a ombre lipstick like I want some wearable more everyday kind of colors with the fun colors BoxyCharm not that they're listening to me, but that is my opinion. So, if I did not say, yeah, I think I did. $26 retail value, and I was excited, and then I wasn't. Okay, the next thing I got in the box this month is from Starlux. This is Ultra Gem Longwear Eye Pencil, and I do believe the shade is Aurora. This has a... Retail value of $19. I've never heard of this brand and it's $19. It does say in here that, listen to these words, okay? The intensely pigmented formula delivers a beautiful color that lasts all day. The easy to extend and retract pen makes application and continuous use seamlessly easy without having, ever having to use a pencil sharpener. And this was a launch exclusive to BoxyCharm. So I was like, oh god, another black eyeliner. You know, subscription box. Favorites. This is the color. I don't know how well it's gonna pick up on camera, but it is like a light pinky mauve shimmery eyeliner. I would like to know, I just don't see that as being highly pigmented. It's pretty, but I just think it's a little, a little crazy. So I don't know, I have to play with this some more, I just, it just doesn't show up much the one time that I did try it on. 
One thing I'm wondering is if this would be a good one for doing like in your lower waterline to kind of like brighten because it is a lighter color and it is pretty so it could be fun to play with. I don't think this should have a value of $19. Don't really agree with that. I also am appreciating the fact that it is something besides a black liner because like with the lipstick I want a variety. I want those neutral colors that you can wear every day, and I want the, you know, go-to black liners. That's fine, because those are things you use. But I also want the things you can play with. So I want a balance, and I feel like with BoxyCharm, for me personally, the balance is missing a little bit. All right, the next thing that I got, oh, there's something in here, okay, was the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 Eyeshadow Palette from Tarte. I just realized that there's some little little paper with some looks in here. And in all honesty, I don't know if you can see them very well. They almost all look just about the same. Which is what we'll get into. So this is the Limited Edition Rainforest of the Sea Highlighting Eyeshadow Palette Volume 3. And if you didn't know, Tarte is vegan. It has a retail value of $36. The packaging! <sighs> I love it. So it kind of reminds me, like, peacock-ish. Right? So, they won points there. Has a nice mirror. They won points there. Okay, this is where they lost me a little bit. Yep. You are totally propped up on an Under Armour shoe box. <laughs> Man, so, I just had a coffin fit that made my eyes water. My goodness. All right, so so the colors look like on the inside. They are very pretty, neutral, everyday colors. So I do feel like what I was just talking about with the balance, that their palettes have had a fairly decent balance. Last month, I didn't even get a palette, and that's a whole other whole other story, but... I do think that this is pretty. My issue with this is that, let's see how many, there's eight shadows in here. They are so much, like so similar. Um, and there's only one matte. This is the matte, and can you see, I've used this like two times maybe just messing around with it, and how like weird this matte shadow is being. I don't know. I wonder when these like were released. Are these old and Tarte's trying to get rid of them? I could be wrong, but it just... I don't know. I like Tarte and I like getting this. There was a pink one and I'll put a picture on the screen. So once I opened my box I went and looked to see what else, what like you could get, what the variations were, and I was like... <laughs> really sad, because that one would have been really pretty. I mean, something... A little bit different, but still very wearable for every day. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too picky, or maybe I just, I don't know. So, I don't think these are bad value. I just, it's missing a couple more mattes, or at least one more darker matte for doing the outer corner. So, we will do some quick swatches here. My dog is pouting so bad because I told her she had to be quiet. And my nails are atrocious because my job is very hard on them. So that one there that you can hardly see, that is the one mat. I'll go into it again and see if I can't build it up just a little bit more so you can actually maybe see it. But that's our one mat. She is pouting so bad. She's not happy with me that I told her she had to be quiet. And usually she doesn't even bother listening, but... I also feel like some of these colors are 
very similar and they could have done more with this. I don't hate that they're neutral everyday wearable colors and I like really think that this kind of one that leans a little bit pinky is really pretty. But, like these two here are very similar and on the eyes I can't imagine that they're going to look much different. I don't know. So it would be a good travel friendly palette though because of the packaging and I don't hate it. I just am kind of meh, kind of meh about this whole box to be honest. But this month's box, let's see if I can do some quick math. 16 and 36 is 52, 71. So we got 71 and 50 is 121 dollars. So I mean, it's a good value. It's just I don't think I'd really use this. I can't really justify wearing this color, at least not very often. I think it's pretty though. This isn't a full size, although it still has a $16 value. The touch of face masks are nice, but it's $12 for one face mask, and you're not really gonna, I mean, you can use them, but you're not gonna get much long use out of that. And the eyeshadow palette. So this one was just kinda, eh. Alrighty, if you like videos like this, please subscribe before you go. We'd be so glad to have you. If you have any ideas for videos or anything you'd like to see or have any suggestions, we are open to all constructive criticism and ideas. Um, remember that everybody's likes and dislikes are different. Everybody's skin is different. It's with the beauty of makeup. So... I do have one question before we go. Usually when we do like the BoxyCharm unboxing, sometimes my friend Amanda and I are able to do it together. Just so happen our schedules aren't really working out and I didn't want to wait too much longer to do this. So would you, do you like just the quick, nothing I do is quick, but the unboxing and then I kind of talk about the products later on maybe in future videos and I always do like a three month BoxyCharm rewind where I go back and look at those products and say, hey, this is after using it what I liked, what I loved. Or would you rather see some of the videos try on style? Like, you know, start out with a bare face or figure out what's in the box and then try them on as we're going? Just a thought. All right. Hope you have a great, great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.